welcome to the Bachelor Morning After. I am here with Ashley I. Hey. And we are recapping last night's episode with the top five biggest moments. Number five being Christina's one-on-one -on -one date. Yeah. So. She's classy, she's calm, he likes that. Um, I like Christina's personality, she's sweet. But um, tell us a little bit about her backstory. Okay, so Christina was orphaned. She lived in an orphanage for about six years. And so she emigrated um, to the States by being adopted and yeah. I thought it was kind of <laughs> so timely to hear about her story oh, yeah. because um, of what's going on and I, I just, it really stuck with me and um, I hope she goes far. I think she definitely became a front runner. The thing is, there's only six girls left. So like, how far can one get at this point? So number four biggest moment of last night was, well, the worst group date ever, the volleyball game. Mm -hmm. It was raining in St. Thomas pretty much. It was cloudy and gloomy and everybody was crying. Because at this point, I say it's because at this point in the competition, competition, you know, you are so tired of being with each other and you're so tired of competing that right. you just go, you lose your mind a little bit. Let's go right into the next moment, which is D-Lo's exit and D-Lo being Danielle L. What's interesting is that when they took out Whitney's suitcase from the room, the girls seemed much more emotional than when really? Danielle's was pulled out of the room. I have a feeling, and I might just be totally making this up, that Danielle wasn't always gelling with the girls in the house. Next moment is Nick's meltdown at the end of the episode. Why did he melt down? The reason, we don't really know because we don't know whether or not he's not feeling like he could potentially love one of these girls. Right. Or vice versa. Or, yeah, or are any of these girls gonna end up loving him? And the thing is, he had just dumped Danielle L who right. said, I'm falling in love with you. So that shouldn't even be a concern. Raven already said, I'm falling in love with you. Right. So I think he might be a little concerned that he's not gonna fall in love with them. Number one biggest moment last night was Jasmine's exit. Just, that's, that's basically it. That's all you need to know. The chokey. I think she was meaning to do it sort of playfully. Yeah, but like, I'm so mad. Yeah, I'm so mad at you. You're not giving me attention, girl. Right, but like then it just it kept going. But then it kept going, and she wasn't reading his body language, or she just thought I'm feeling so hard right now. I'm so awkward, and she just continued to like go on autopilot. Right, we kind of know how to do that. Just yeah, continue being awkward. Yeah, totally. Don't it's stop. once it starts, it's <laughs> really hard to stop being awkward. Thanks for watching the Bachelor Morning After. We will be back next week. It yep. keeps getting better and better. Ashley, I thank you so much. See you next week, Bachelor Nation.